Hatch patterns may be modified in breakout views just as in section views. Unique hatch patterns may be assigned to materials defined in the style library. Hatchview.idw is open. Zoom in on the top view. Create a from point breakout view in the top view. Select the top view, then select Create Sketch from the Sketch panel. Create a closed spline, approximately cutting the top view in half. Select Breakout from the Modify panel. Select the top view. The Breakout dialog box is displayed. The sketch will automatically be selected as the profile. Select From Point. Select the midpoint where the cylinder and the cylinder cap join in the top view. Check Section All Parts and select OK. The breakout view is displayed. The components broken are hatched. Edit the cylinder's hatch pattern. Click on the hatch pattern to select the hatch pattern. Right click and select Edit. The Edit Hatch Pattern dialog box is displayed. By material is not available because a hatch pattern has not been assigned to the cylinder's material. Let's assign a hatch pattern to reflect the component's material. Select Cancel. Assign a unique hatch pattern to style library materials. Either select the hatch pattern in the drawing view, right click, select Edit Hatch Style, or select Styles Editor from the Manage tab. Either method will display the style in Standard Editor. Select the plus sign next to the standard in the browser. Select Default Standard ANSI Millimeter. The default standard ANSI Millimeter settings are displayed. Select Material Hatch Pattern Defaults tab. Verify that Filter Styles is set to Local Styles. Select From Style Library button under the Import Materials. All of the materials in the style library are displayed with their assigned hatch pattern. ANSI 31 is cast iron's ANSI assigned hatch pattern. Change the hatch pattern for steel mild to ANSI 32. Change the hatch pattern for steel stainless to custom 01. Select Save. If you have right access to the style library and want to add this to the style library, right click on the default standard ANSI millimeter and select Save to Style Library to make this global change. Select Done. Change all the hatch patterns to display by material type. Select all the hatch patterns. Use the control key to select multiple patterns. Right click Hover the cursor over Pattern. The Flyout menu will display and select By Material. The Hatch Patterns update to display by the material type assigned in the Style Library. This completes the lesson. Do not save the file.